Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting video on my channel. Today we will learn how to make quick and easy cloth in Blender. And after that, we will also be making this sort of an animation as well. But first, if you are new here or haven't subscribed already, then please subscribe so you're always updated of my new upcoming videos. And if you want my finished blend files, you can get them on my Patreon as well as on my Gumroad page as well. Well, back to Blender. Delete the cube and the lamp. First, I will be importing the character into the scene. Well, this is the character and it's animated as well. So we don't have to deal with the character animation in this tutorial. And now we will be bringing in a plane. So shift A, select plane, scale it big. Tap to go to the edit mode, select edge select mode. Now select this edge, press 3 to go to the side view, extrude this edge. Now select the middle edge and then press ctrl B to bevel it. Roll the mouse wheel upward to have a couple of more edge loops. Now right click, shade smooth and then shift A again, bring in another plane, GZ to move it upward. Now tap to go to the edit mode, scale it up a little bit. Now control R to bring in an edge loop and increase the number of cuts to 50. Now add another edge loop, again 50 number of cuts. We know our character is gonna stand further in the animation so I'm quickly gonna test if they are not overlapping. I guess I should be moving it a little bit upward. This is much better. Okay, first I'm gonna set up the collision on our backdrop and the character for that. Select the backdrop first. Go to physics properties. Click on collision. I will be increasing friction only to 15. And check single sided if it's not checked already. Now for the character, select collision again. Increase friction to 15 and check override normals. You can uncheck single sided. And now for the cloth. Select the plane and this time we are gonna select cloth in the physics properties. Now quality steps you can either pump it up to 7 or 10 or wanna leave it on 5 it's totally your choice now. Vertex mass I'm gonna change the settings later in the video. Air viscosity to 0 I'm not gonna change any of these settings. I'm gonna scroll down and find collision. Yeah there it is. Reduce distance to 0.01. Now check self collision and again distance to 0.01. Now go to field weights. Increase gravity to 1.5 because I want our cloth to drop like super fast. So now if you press play, you can see our cloth is falling down and it's interacting with the character as well. But I don't want the cloth simulation to start from phase 1. Just like in the video, we saw that our guy is gonna try to stand up and then the cloth will fall. For that, find cache in the cloth properties and change simulation start to 30 and I'm gonna end it on 132. This totally is your choice. If you want a longer animation, then don't end it here. So now if I press play, our character will try to stand up and at frame 30, our cloth simulation will start. You can see our cloth is quite blocky now. To fix it, right click and shade smooth. But you can see our cloth is too light. If you prefer it this way, it's your choice. But uh, I will be making it a little bit heavier later. And most of you also might be saying, whoa, it's looking too bad. But the playback is just giving us an idea of the final animation. At good speed, it won't be looking that bad at all. And if you want to make your cloth even more smoother and more better, then go to the modifiers tab and select subdivision surface. And you can totally notice the big change here. Well, now back to cloth properties again. 7 to go to the top view. Turn on X-ray view. Drag the plane. Imagine where you want most of the cloth to fall and where you want it less. And now we will be making some headspace as well. I can't just delete some faces with the frame 1 character position because uh, you can see at frame 30 our character is right here. And we can totally use this angle. Tap to go to the edit mode now, select face select mode, select 4 faces on top. You might be saying why just 4 small faces while uh, we are making a big space for a head. But trust me it's a lot. And now press play.
Yeah, I like the look and uh, you totally can see the headspace. Like I said, it's enough. I will be quickly refining it a little bit more and then we will do some quick shading. Yeah, I feel this setup will work perfectly for the final render. But before we go shading, I wanna tell you how to bake the simulation. Because uh, we don't want Blender to calculate and then recalculate each time we play back our animation. So if you are happy with the result, we bake it to save performance. And it will also uh, make the playback much faster. And for that, we just have to press bake here. But keep in mind, if you don't like the result, uh, you can just modify your cloth. For that, you have to delete the bake first and then do your modification and then bake again. And when we play back now, you can see it's much faster. And I'm totally loving the result. Now go to viewpoint shading. Go to the material editor while keeping the backdrop selected. Click on new. Darken up the base color. I don't want to change any more settings here. But uh, you can if you want. Now for the character, I can feel it's a bit shiny. It happens while importing FBX format sometimes, so I am gonna turn down only metallic hair. And now for the cloth, click on new. I will darken up the base color here. And also increase the roughness to something like 0 0.7. And we are done. Now I will quickly set up a sky. Shift A, bring in a sun lamp because you know in EV our models don't react perfectly with the SDRIs. I will be enabling ambient occlusion, bloom, screen stays, reflections for a better render. Now turn on the render view. Yeah, it's looking much nice. But I think I should be rotating our sun a little bit to change the shadow fall off. Yeah, something like that. We can also test cycles and uh, we all knew that cycles always look better. But we can also cheat in an EV as well, which I'm not gonna do in this tutorial. And finally, we're gonna do a quick real-time animation test. Yeah, super. I'm totally loving the final result. I hope you loved the video and if you did then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Well that's it. See you soon in my next video. You all take care till then. Happy blending.